Good morning, everybody! Say morning! It's around 8 a.m. It's May 4. Everybody's starting to greet mommy. How about you? Can you sing happy birthday to mommy? <laughs> so today I'm celebrating my birthday, my 27th birthday in exact. I want to thank everyone who greeted me personally and uh, to those who posted their birthday wishes. We're gonna do a mukbang video today. We're gonna have lechon from Esquina Cebu. Whatever is my craving. And of course, we're gonna watch the usual K-drama. Currently, we're watching What's Wrong with Secretary Kim. Featuring the leading actor from Itaewon class as well. He's pretty good. My husband is also planning to cook something to go with the lechon. Let's see. Let's start my birthday quarantine. You want to brush your teeth? No. What are you doing there? What are you doing there? Want to read more books? My first Bible. The story. It's a rainy morning. Hobby is cooking. It's the piggy. Pasta sauce is cooked as well as the pasta. Happy birthday, dear mommy. <gasps> Happy birthday to. That. There's a different person who raised the bubble. Thank you. Thank you so much. You say hi, Kayla. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All the food deliveries have arrived, and my husband cooked the Filipino spaghetti with the ground beef with chicken hot dogs, cheddar cheese. Oh my goodness! I can't wait to try this. The food delivery number one is lechon from Esquina Cebu. So this is um, Cebu lechon. I've been to Cebu and so I know what it tastes like. It's incredible and it's usually served with vinegar in Cebu and this is what they gave me as well. So the lechon, we ordered two different kinds. We have the non-spicy which is the regular lechon belly. Look at that, it's glistening. Look at the skin, oh my gosh, it looks so crispy. And they also got a spicy version, which I am so looking forward to eating because I love spicy and I love lechon, both things I love. This when dipped into the vinegar and when paired with this garlic fried rice that also hobby just cooked. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Look at that fried rice with garlic, the best thing that you can ever pair with the lechon. And I got here the surprise cake that they gave me that Kayla already devoured. It's so beautiful and brown with a strawberry. Well, this is strawberry, walnut, and cranberry cake. Kayla already finished a slice of this. So later I'm gonna try that for dessert. And I have here milk tea that we ordered from Whale Tea. 
Singapore. We live here in the west, which is in the uh, Chua Chu Kang area. So this milk tea is from the, the nearest mall we call Lot 1. It's called the Whale Tea Singapore. We ordered the starter pack and as well as the set A. Later I'm gonna tell you more about this as we're gonna do a DIY milk tea for my birthday. You excited? Let's go and eat! Of course, I'm gonna try the lechon first. All right, I'm gonna pick the skin. Oh yes, look at that skin. Oh, I'm gonna try it on its own first. Mm. Let's follow it with a bite of the meat and there's some pepper and spices in there as well. Mm. Oh wow. You taste the flavor from the skin already, but there's more flavor from the meat and the more you chew, the more the flavor bursts into your mouth. Mmm, I can imagine this is gonna go well with the vinegar. I wanna try the spicy lechon first. Try it. Look at that. Look at the piece of heaven. Oh. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> As thin as a paper, fatty, flavorful, yum. Now I want to dip it into the vinegar. It's so good! Oh my gosh, garlic rice is a must. Mm. Oh yeah. It's so good, flavorful. You don't need any liver sauce because the meat is already flavorful on its own. As well as the fatty skin, paper thin. The vinegar sauce that's served with it is the perfect combo to the pig. Because the pork is of course very fatty and you need some balance, some acidity to cut through the fattiness of the pig, of the skin. It's so good. This reminds me of my childhood. I grew up going to celebrations, to fiestas, family gatherings. It's something that is a huge part of the Filipino culture. The difference with Cebuano lechon is they put a lot of stuff inside the lechon compared to what is done in Manila. It's usually paired in vinegar in all over Cebu. This is what I tried when I went to Cebu way back in, I think, 2015. There's not much Filipino cuisine being served here. I miss the Philippines ever since we came here and this just brings me straight to my home country I love love Esquina Cebu so I highly recommend this lechon search Esquina Cebu they have Instagram Facebook next is the spaghetti this is something that is always always present in any celebration so spaghetti is something that every filipino family cook it's always cooked in big batches to cater to big filipino families and relatives and the whole barangay the whole barrio the sweet style filipino spaghetti now i'm gonna try my husband's version i'm gonna dig in to the spaghetti look at that guys oh yes Thick, beefy. Try to get some sausage in there. Oh yes, come to me. Mmm, so good with the cheesy cheddar cheese, lechon, and spaghetti. Why not? Mmm, so good. This lechon is so good. Let's do some more dipping. That's what you're looking for. All the vinegar goodness mm -hmm. and juice and moist even though it's been delivered for like what 30 minutes oh wow how do they make this skin so crispy wow it's so good mm. best birthday ever mm. it's actually my first birthday in a different country mm. let's try to add the lechon and the garlic rice Mm, some more vinegar. I need it in my life. See that? What more can I say? I'm gonna finish my lunch. Later, we're gonna do some DIY milk tea. So after that wonderful lechon feast, we rested for a little bit and watched some K-drama. What's wrong with Secretary Kim? And then now, we're ready for some milk tea.
With the Whale Tea's Milk Tea Survivor Kit Set A, we can make 10 Earl Grey Milk Tea with Pearl, 10 Roasted Oolong Tea with Pearl. With the Whale Tea Starter Pack, we can make 6 Brown Sugar Boba Milk, 2 Brown Sugar Shizuoka Matcha, 2 Brown Sugar Cocoa Milk. To those people who have been wondering how I'm able to get the milk tea as all the milk tea shops are now closed here in Singapore during the circuit breaker so this is the milk tea shop's way to sell their products even their store is not physically open so online and for deliveries they're still open so I got both the starter kit and the set A which is the milk tea survivor kit and I'm gonna show you how to prepare them individually with different types of flavors there's matcha regular brown pearl milk tea and there's oolong and earl grey so let's start the milk tea preparation all set we're gonna follow the guide to make the addictive pearls step one every cup requires 50 grams of uncooked pearls and 400 milliliters water step two since we're preparing four different flavors we're gonna cook 200 grams of pearls in 1.6 liters of boiling water in 30 minutes Go. Stir every five minutes to prevent the pearls from sticking. Do not cover. Step 3. After 30 minutes, lower the temperature, cover the lid and simmer for 50 minutes. Stir every 10 minutes. If you prefer softer pearls, simmer for another 10 minutes. Step 4. After 50 minutes, take out the pearls, sieve it with water. Step 5. Put the pearls inside the container. Mix 15 grams of sugar or raw sugar into every 50 grams of pearls. Stir for 15 minutes. Step 6. Ready to use. For starter pack, we're going to be making boba, matcha, and cocoa. Let's start with the most basic one. Milk. Step 1. Measure 85 grams of cooked pearls into the cup. Step 2. Add 15 to 20 milliliters brown sugar syrup, depending on your sweet tooth. Step 3. Put 180 ml of fresh milk. Step 4. Add 160 to 170 grams of ice. Step 5. Stir well and ready to drink. Try it! Mix it! How is it? Join. Mmm. Matcha and cocoa has the same procedure. Step 1. Stir 40 grams of cocoa or matcha powder into 80 ml water until completely dissolved. Step 2. Measure 85 grams of cooked pearls into the cup. Step 3. Add 15 to 20 ml brown sugar syrup, depending on your sweet tooth. Step 4. Add 160 to 170 grams of ice. Stir well and ready to drink. For the Survivor Kit Set A, we're going to be making Oolong and Earl Grey. Both have the same procedure as well. Step 1. Pour 240 ml of boiling water into the cup. Step 2. Empty leaves pack it into the hot water and then cover the cup. Step 3. After 10 minutes, sieve the tea. For roasted Oolong, it only takes 9 minutes. Step 4. Add creamer mix E, sugar, and stir well. Use the creamer mix R for the roasted oolong. Step 5. Add ice, top it off with pearls, and enjoy. Now, let's start the milk tea taste test. Alright, 
I didn't know that it's gonna take a long process for a milk tea to be prepared, especially the boba. So we cooked it for 30 minutes, simmered it for another 15 minutes. It takes a lot of process for this drink that everyone is obsessed about and I'm sure a lot of people are withdrawing with their milk tea fix as they're not able to go outside. But here in Singapore, since they've already closed down the beverage stalls, especially the whale tea Singapore, they decided to sell some DIY milk tea kits, starter kits. Here we are. We have made it, finally prepared it, and uh, I appreciate all those people who are making milk tea because it takes a lot of patience. So right now, I just created the Earl Grey tea and the Oolong tea, both with cream, sugar, ice, and boba, of course. That's it. So I'm going to try the Oolong first. Oh, look at that. Actually, from the instruction, it says 50 minutes to boil it some more, but I like it a little bit chewy, so let's try it. Oolong. Mm. You can really taste the oolong tea in there. The fragrance plus the texture from the boba. A little bit of sweetness because we didn't put too much sugar in the boba. This is the perfect ratio for me because I don't like the usual milky and sugary tea you know what i'm saying i like more of the strong tea flavor love it now let's try the earl grey the earl grey has some kind of acidity uh, different fragrance from the tea leaves so i'm gonna mix it earl grey mm, has some kind of freshness and lightness into it some earthiness in it as well if i would differentiate it oolong is kind of like the darker deeper in flavor and earl grey is much more like fruitier earthier and uh, lighter in flavor mm. Mm. both are very refreshing i didn't expect much actually because i'm really not a fan of drinking milk tea but this one the whale tea sg got more tea loving my milk tea fix i only managed to end it with the matcha here's the matcha powder we put in some milk brown sugar boba and ice matcha is one of my favorite flavors in any type of dessert so i have high expectations on this to the final milk tea of the day of my birthday This is definitely perfect for matcha lovers like me. So good. Again, the boba. Super chewy. Just the way I like it. Everything we tasted, everything's good. In Tagalog, we say, walang tapon. It's like nothing's going to waste. The natural taste of the freshly brewed tea, plus the natural earthiness, everything's very straightforward and comforting. I can imagine this to be a great bonding for families at home. This one, you make it from scratch. It's a DIY milk tea, so you prepare all the ingredients. Very easy. This is actually a brilliant idea. I'm gonna do this again. All right, so we're done with the feasting today. The lechon feast and the milk tea feast. Wow. All my cravings satisfied on my birthday. I just want to thank everyone who greeted me today on my birthday. So I want to thank Maruxa Lind, The Reckless Escapade, Sugar, Bliss, Sabrina, and uh, Luke of uh, Chopstick Travel. Thank you, Bebetina. I believe you're from Australia. Ube Tuna from Philadelphia, if I'm correct. One up, five down. Others are personal messages <laughs> from friends and families who have greeted me. Thank you so much, guys, for remembering me on my birthday. I no longer have Facebook, so most likely people are wondering, think that I blocked them. Again, thank you guys for your greetings. In the comment, there's the travel stamps. Thank you from the Philippines my first birthday away from home and it's during the quarantine season it's totally fine as long as you are with your families it's just a matter of perspective as long as you're safe and healthy with your family then um, that's the best birthday gift that you can ever have we are blessed with what god has given us we both are healthy as well as kayla so yeah that's gonna wrap up this vlog for today i hope you guys like this video if you did let me know in the comments below yeah it's my first ever birthday vlog so please make sure to like and subscribe let me know what you want to see in the future videos from singapore so let's say goodbye goodbye